During the Science Forum, are students able to tailor the programme to suit their specific scientific interests? Today is one of those days where we break the groups out into seven specialist lectures. Hi, I'm Constantina, I'm from Cyprus, and today we're having a lecture with Professor Marcus Trey. He's about uh, drugs and brain, how the brain gets affected by drugs and how we react to drugs. So my name is Marcus Rattray, I'm a Professor of Pharmacology and Head of the Bradford School of Pharmacy and I work, amongst other things, on drugs of abuse. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, what drugs do in the brain and, and really why people take drugs and there's lots of kind of theories about that but essentially one of the reasons people take people do take drugs is because of what they do in the brain and they really can't help uh, taking them more. The biggest issues for me as a scientist right now in the field of drug abuse is trying to work out better ways to, for, for treating people. So some of those treatments are, are medical, involve uh, um, therapies of medications and others are psychological. It's really sorting out which are the best and how to make them all more effective because at the moment most of the treatments are very ineffective and we really need to do more research to understand how to get people off drugs in a more effective way. Today at LOISF, Professor David Phillips gave us a lecture on light and its use in medicine, be that diagnostically or as a treatment. Well I'm talking about, uh, I call it a little light relief, it's about light and lasers in medicine but it is from the point of view of a chemist, I'm a, a, a physical chemist uh, and it really is medicine, if you like, seen through a chemist's eyes. I want people to probe deeper into the, some of the things I'll be saying. Photodynamic therapy, it's the use of light and um, a sensitizing dye molecule which you inject into the bloodstream which locates preferentially in cancer tissue, in tumor tissue and then you turn on the light, the form of a laser, excite the molecule, the molecules initiate some chemistry which destroys the tumor. So you can selectively destroy tumors using this technique. 